Hello Internet, this is Oleg. Welcome to my tech review. It's been a while since we talked last time, but today we're gonna talk about Cloud Key Gen 2 latest update to firmware version, version 1.1.11. In case you purchased Cloud Key Gen 2 a while ago, you would see that from the day one, but you should actually see the speed for download and upload on the main display of the Cloud Key. It took Unify a while to get this feature implemented, but it's finally there. Started from version 1.1.10. This feature is implemented and the speed is now shown up. Today we're going to talk about this feature as well and also what's new on the firmware version 1.1.11, what is the proper way to update because there are some multiple issues reported on the internet that people actually try to update firmware on cloud key to 1.1.10 or .11 and it's actually break the cloud key and created all kind of issues and there are some resolution steps which you can take into consideration if you are in this and you got yourself into this scenario. So let's talk about this and let's see is it beneficial for you to install the latest firmware version and what is the right process to do so. So here I am on my cloud key on the Unify controller itself. So there is option to actually go ahead and update my uh, cloud key firmware and also check and update the cloud, the Unify controller firmware. All the way that you have to do is just click on the settings and go to maintenance. So if you go here on the new interface, if you switch to new interface already, you can go to updates and just check it over here. Or if you are in classic interface, which is old one, you can go and check over here. Just go to classic, go to maintenance, and you will see this thing here. This is the update. So don't update firmware for cloud key from here. There's an option to check for update. And once the new update is available, then well, you can actually do it from here. But what happened in this particular case? This is firmware for the cloud key for the controller itself. Um, the cloud key firmware also includes the actual new version of cloud key controller also. So what happened, what I noticed recently is that if you go from here, sometimes the whole update process can hang and it doesn't go anywhere because it will try to update firmware for the key itself and also update controller at the same time. If you go from here, be patient because it will take a while to actually sort things out and get the controller updated as well as the actual firmware from the cloud key. Because the two are related. Usually when you go and update firmware, the cloud key controller version get updated at the same time. And if you just update in the cloud key controller itself, then it's fine. You can just click here and if it is available, you can go ahead and update. But if you have combination of the two then you have cloud key firmware and controller version updates available at the same time. My recommendation is just to go to the cloud key itself, go to here and sign in and get updated from this guy here. So once you're on the cloud key itself, on, the, on its interface, you will see that I have already updated, but I will tell you how I did it. So go to settings and there is a firmware version over here. Once you click here, you can go ahead and if there's a new version available, it will tell you that you can update from here. Once you click on update, you will see the status progress bar and which will tell you how the process is going. And you can actually gonna get also a visual presentation of the process itself because it will fill up the bar and you will see that actual firmware is going and it's not got stuck or anything like that. At the same time, it's gonna be indicator on the controller itself on the actual physical cloud key you will have blinking white button and there are going to be some information displayed on the screen there as well. Once the firmware is updated, you should have new interface for the actual cloud key displayed on its little tiny display. And you will see that actually it's showing up now speed and megabit per second. There are different theories about the typo which Unify might did on the actual interface and it shows has to be like megabyte per second. But the actual speed which is showing up from the controller and from the cloud key is not the same. So to actual statistics for USG Pro, which is my router itself, which is supposed to measure traffic to the internet. You go in and go to the one port and you show and say, I want last 24 hour, five minutes interval. So you'll see here that the actual throughput is displayed as well. So this thing in the middle shows you like my throughput is 14, 16 megabit per second. This is in megabit per second. And even if the theory is right that the actual speed on the cloud key displays in megabyte per second, it's still not true. 
because I looked at it and I loaded up with the speed test from multiple devices at the same time. And we know that this actually shows average for five minutes. So you have to really load it up during five minutes, more or less evenly. So the average will be reflective of what your speed is. And you will not see this thing goes up. For example, when I go and run speed test, I see my throughput tested for 40 mega, 400 megabit per second or 800 megabit per second. I run it in multiple devices at the same time in sequences, so it will go and constantly load the traffic for five minutes at least. Or if you go ahead and download big file, that's gonna be a good test as well. You will see numbers here on the speed side, which is gonna be not the same, even if you times eight that number and actually reflect that into controller side, it's still not gonna show the same. So I'm not sure how Ubiquity is actually calculating that number, which is showing up on the cloud key, but it's not reflective of anything as of now. I'm on controller version, which is 5.12.72. This is the latest version as of now, and that's get updated with the controller, with the firmware of the cloud key. So I didn't specifically update that controller version over here. I just installed new cloud key firmware and that controller version got updated automatically. I think that's the safest process right now to actually get your Unify management tools updated. Don't get update control on its own unless there is a specific bug fix which was introduced with the latest update and then Unify fixing that by actually including new version of the cloud key controller uh, without actual updating the firmware of the cloud key. The other thing is, which is also a good idea to do, is to actually, once you got this controller updated, make sure you have your Unify setup updated as well. So I always read the release notes first to see what is the actual breaking things and what is the fix for this particular version of the firmware for access points or for the switches. As you can see, my 16 gig switch is not updated right now as of yet because for me it's actually getting complicated to actually get this thing downtime because all the updates for the firmware of the switches in this particular regard are offline updates so that means my infrastructure will bounce and I'm not really actually a big fan of rebooting my ESX servers. My recommendation is always go to Unify Community website and check software release notes. This is the release notes for firmware 1.1.11. As you can see there are some issues fixed which is what you want uh, before you actually go and update to make sure whatever issue you have is actually being addressed with the latest firmware update or the software version for that matter. Also, you see here that there is a Unify controller included in this version, which is 5.12.66. Once you got that installed, you can update to latest 12.73 version. So also, if you're using Unify Protect, then it's gonna be 1.13.2. I'm pretty sure there is a more updated version right now available which you can update. One of the features you see here that was reported by this particular user that it's actually got updated and it's break the cloud key and it's got boot failure right now indicated on the message. This is cloud key one, uh, so therefore the probably process was not followed correctly and that's why it's actually got broken. But if uh, there are some other issues which is reported right here, some of them got resolved very easily by changing the pseudo access and that's actually get things fixed. As you can see, there are some useful information on this community. So my recommendation, before you go and update, just check the community string here for specific software release notes. All right, guys, so that's it for today's quick review of the new cloud key firmware, uh, which is version 1.1.11. It is safe to update as long as you follow the steps how to do it properly, so you will not break your cloud key, which is gonna be a mess, and you don't want to be in that mess. If you enjoyed this video, give us thumbs up, share it with your friends, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you, you will not miss the next available video once it's get released and uploaded to, you, to the YouTube channel. I uh, thank you for staying with me till the end. Until next time, peace.